T. Clark here, and this video is going to go over the 2025 AP Computer Science A FRQ number 3A. So in 3A, this question involves pairing competitors in a tournament on one-on-one -on -one matches. So we're getting brackets, um, I think. So we're going to something like a brackets, maybe just one one competition in brackets, something like that. Um, so for one round, oh yeah, for one round. Okay, so so we're making the brackets for one, one round, not not this. So like uh, maybe just the quarterfinals. Um, for example, in a chess tournament, the competitors are individual chess players. A game of chess involves two players is a match. So we're doing chess as our scenario, I guess. Um, so the winners of each match goes to a match in the next round. Are we doing the next rounds? I don't know. Since half the players are eliminated in each round, there is eventually a final round consisting of one match and two competitors. So we are doing quarterfinals, semifinals, and finals, I guess. The winner of that match is considered the winner of the tournament. So we have competitors, we have matches, we have a round. Okay, so competitor matches and rounds of a tournament are represented by the competitor match and round classes. Okay, so, so we're going to write the constructor of the and one method of the round class. Okay, so we're only writing in the round class. Well, let's look at what my competitor is. Competitor, uh, so a person playing a competitor has a name and a rank. Okay, and then... The constructor, we're going to probably have to use, we're going to just give it their name, give that competitor their name, and their initial rank. Okay, do they rank up anyway? I don't even know. I don't think so. So they just have a name and an initial rank. That's that's a competitor. Okay, then we have a match class. Um, we're going to have two competitors, and that's it. So a match has two competitors. There we go. And then a single round of the tournament. So here we go. This is the code that we're going to need to work with. Uh, mostly. So we have an array list of all the competitors um, and in a round, so in this round, and then we're going to initialize competitor list as described in part A. Okay, so we're probably just going to pair off. Um, no, we're going to make the competitor probably and add it to the list. So loop through, I'm thinking right now, I'm thinking loop over names array make a competitor and then add that competitor to the list competitor list okay so that's a i'm not even going to read b i'm just going to skip ahead to the scenario so write the constructor for the round class okay that's the constructor right here public round that's my constructor um constructor should initialize competitor list okay so it's a competitor list oh it's a list so even before all that i need to say competitor list equals new array list angle breakout angle bracket parentheses semicolon so you just set up that new list you could put competitor inside i'll do that for completion but new uh java you don't have to worry about that so this is 100 percent fine actually i'll leave it like that i like that personally eh, but yeah i'll keep it like that okay the order in which competitor objects appear in competitor list should be the same as the order in which they appear in names. So yeah, we're looping over the names parameter in the same order, and the rank of each competitor is based on the competitor's position in names. Oh, so the ranks go higher and higher based on the index. So names are listed as names, you know, from best ranked competitor with rank one, so it's not rank zero, it's rank one, to the worst competitor with rank N. N is the number of elements in names, okay? So we have three competitors. How are they gonna do a term with three? Oh, I guess you can, yeah, yeah. Oh no, because you crop them, you cut them out. Half half of them get cut out. I guess Kara doesn't play the first round or something. I don't know. Um, so if we have players and we run it or we run the constructor, we're gonna have these these elements in my array list. That's it. We do. That's all we do. We just say okay for every. Um, I'm gonna do a int um, index for loop i equals zero, i less than names dot length. Um, it's an array, so I don't need parentheses or anything. i plus plus. i is my index for the names array. So I'm gonna say, how do I make a competitor? So I have to make a new competitor. Competitor um, temp equals new competitor. How do I make a competitor? I need the string and then the rank. Okay, so string and rank. So I'm going to say my string is names bracket i, and my rank is i plus one. 
So I looped over the names array. I'm making the construction. Oh, so this probably sh I, when I made the notes, I probably should tab that because it was going in my in my loop. And then what I do? I go and I add that competitor to list. What's my list name? I don't care what it is. I just copy it. Dot add. And then I'm going to add whatever I did up here. Temp. You could have put this all in one line if you wanted to. You could have just put uh, new competitor names, all this stuff in here. That would have worked. But I'll keep it the way I have it. So again, let's see, let's see, I got my names. I'm looping over every element of my names. And then adding one to the rank. And adding to list. So there's 3A. I think that's it for 3A, just the constructor. Have a good day.